Welcome to our NCAF podcast. Today we look at the coming of mass migration, a look into the defining challenge of our era. In today's episode, we'll cover the escalating climate displacement issues that are transforming the geography of human settlements. We'll explore the dire conditions that force people to flee their homes, the stark rise in the number of forcibly displaced individuals, and the global patterns that predict a profound shift in population dynamics. Unprecedented climate events are forcing people across the world to confront an unfathomable choice, to rebuild, adapt, or move. In the British Isles, extreme heat, drought, and wildfires have wreaked havoc, shaking a region once known for its temperate climes. Shifting our gaze to the Mediterranean, we glimpse a landscape besieged by violent elements, while in the United States, the onslaught of natural disasters has become a new disturbing norm. Across the Channel in France, tens of thousands retreat from flames. In America, evacuations amid floods and fires have become a regular occurrence. Yet it's in the less affluent equatorial nations where the true severity of climate catastrophe unfolds, where return and adaptation are often not options, only departure. As the situation intensifies, the narrative of climate migration merges with the massive urban migration already in progress. The shocking figure surpassing 100 million forcibly displaced individuals speaks volumes, where climate change now drives people from their homes more than conflicts. Scientific projections are no less alarming, indicating that each degree of temperature rise could displace a billion souls. The coming decade foreshadows hundreds of millions on the move, with implications that touch each one of us whether we are the migrants or those receiving them. Yet despite the crisis unfolding before our eyes, international acknowledgement and planning to manage this inevitable migration remain strikingly absent. Decades have passed with minimal action on climate mitigation. And now, as economies slowly decarbonize, the crucial adaptation processes languish underfunded and undervalued. No longer can we ignore the problematic presence, the unmistakable elephant, in the room of international climate negotiations, for many, migration is the sole method of adaptation left. We face critical questions as the global map reveals the harsh truth of our future. Large swathes of the tropics, the shores, and low-lying islands all stand to lose their inhabitable status. Infrastructure and agriculture will crumble in regions we depend upon for survival. Migration, predominantly northward, offers a possible boom through population replenishment and carries the dangers of catastrophic disruption. The year 2024 must signify the start of a broader dialogue on managing mass climate migration and the potential establishment of an overseeing global body. While we may have failed to prevent climate change, the chance to avert its most severe consequences still lies within our collective grasp. And that's a wrap on today's episode of The Coming of Mass Migration. We've touched on the brutal reality of climate-induced displacement, the dramatic growth of the migration crisis, and the complex dialogue we must engage in as a global community to manage this new reality. I thank you for joining me in this crucial conversation, and thanks for listening.